There's many models that are used for understanding geopolitics. Perhaps the first one, and one that at least would offer us a beginning insight into contemporary geopolitics and international relations, comes, down, comes from uh, Lord Mackinder, who gave us in 1904 the Mackinder Thesis. And it's worth understanding the principal image and the principal point of the Mackinder Thesis to understand where we stand today in geopolitics. Mackinder basically thought of the world as divided between land empires and sea empires. If you were to take Sparta and Athens of the ancient world and blow them up, blow up the Mediterranean, blow up Sparta and Athens into a global context, you would have the essential elements of the Mackinder thesis. Mackinder thought that between England, the United States, Australia, South Africa, and Japan, you had the modern equivalent of Athens, the seafaring empires. He thought that if you took in the early 20th century, if you were to take Germany and Russia, you would have the land empires. In the, according to the Mackinder thesis, the most important thing, the most important objective to enable the seafaring empires to dominate the world would be to prevent unity prevent any kind of economic market emerging between the land empires, in this case between Germany and Russia. And so Mackinder thought that it would be important as a foreign policy objective that both England and the United States and then Australia, Japan and South Africa, that they would be united. United, number one, in establishing their own market, but number two, in preventing an eventual union being established between Germany on the one hand and Russia on the other. You might say that Mackinder were, or that the English and the, United, the Americans were successful in preventing this German-Russian unity from happening. However, now, in the early 21st century, what we see happening once again is a potential development between Russia and Germany, and now in this case China, in forming a market a market that could potentially become independent or not reliant upon the market of the seafaring empires. Sometimes this is called the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and now South Africa. According to those that subscribe to the Mackinder thesis, this common market would be one of the biggest dangers and is something that needs to be prevented. In November of 2014, China opened up the first intercontinental railway that extended from China all the way to Madrid. And this railway itself and this market itself is of great concern to those who subscribe to the Mackinder thesis.